Let's go. What's up, YouTube? Andrew Marlowe here. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. We're actually on our way to the Everson Museum uh, here in Syracuse, New York. Uh, it's right over there. Um, now, if you're not familiar with the Everson, uh, it's a modern art gallery, but on the second floor, they actually have a uh, an early American landscape and portrait um, exhibition and that's what we're here to see so I'm su super excited um, glad you guys could join us for this video Here we are, um, about to go into the gallery. Um, I'm getting super excited already, so let's check it out. Let's start with this one over here by a man named George Ennis. Um, obviously, an incredible master of landscapes. Um, I mean, it's overwhelming just, just looking at the painting. Um, incredible. Uh, George Ennis lived from 1825 to 1894. And then um, he painted stuff like this. Here we are with the uh, 1880 portrait by William Longley. Uh, this is just incredibly overwhelming. Uh, the title of the painting is Early Autumn in the Adirondacks. So this is actually what the Adirondacks would have looked like in the 1800s. Um, it's incredible. It almost looks like a photograph, as you can see. Um, I would imagine that maybe he, you know, sketched, maybe did some rough paintings on the spot, out in the plain air, in nature, and then this probably would have been finished later on in the studio. Very intriguing painting here. Um, by Albert Arunstadt. Um Very alluring, spooky kind of night waterfall scene. Um, very incredible, just draws you right in. Um, you know, with the waterfall and the river bank down towards the bottom half corner there. And the tree is being used um, as a way to draw you into the painting as well. A still life painting here by a German born painter named Severin Rosen. Um, he was famous for these types of works, almost um, a photographic intense realism um, is what he was specialized in. Um, his paintings would have been very, um, you know, sought after during this time for various reasons in the household. Um, so Enjoying this one very much. Got a wonderful painting here by Edwin Hicks. Um, oil painting done on a wood panel. It's actually starting to crack. Um, but this is just incredible. Um, he was known for a folk art type of style, and that's what you see showcased here in this painting. Um, almost deranged, um, you know, just the way that the animals look. And then you have the Native Americans in the background talking to the uh, colonial individuals. Almost like something out of a dream. Another landscape here by Thomas Moran. Uh, this one's intriguing because you can actually see the brush strokes. You can see the thick glob of paint he used to produce this. Just an incredible, um, very well lit, very well painted landscape here. We have a portrait of the artist's daughter here by Alden Weir. Very large painting, um, very thickly painted. You can see the paint just loaded right on there. Um, almost melancholy. 
almost sad. Um, but she's waiting for somebody, waiting for a man, possibly. Here we are in front of the Jackson Pollock painting. It's called Red Composition, painted in 1946, um, showcasing what, what Pollock would later go on to do on much larger canvases. Painting's titled American, and uh, I'm speechless. Uh, it doesn't really do a whole lot for me. A uh, little bit of a waste of a canvas. Uh, doesn't really showcase anything spectacular, but I like the brush strokes. Uh, looks like he used paint thinner to get this canvas started, so it's too bad he didn't finish it. We just left the Everson Museum. I uh, really enjoyed filming that, looking at the paintings, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it as well. What did you think? It was great. I, I enjoyed it. Some beautiful, uh, beautiful paintings. The Jackson Pollock painting was my favorite.